Okay, it's more, it's more go in, right? Aatrox, yeah. Wukong, Rakan, everybody's going in like this. And although Team Liquid, they're limited in engage options, and by limited, I mean, yeah, it's pretty Let's much. see who goes to the crabs first. We are gonna get both junglers showing up. Santorin walking into the Drake pit. Likely to have to flash out of this one. Sand wanna. fights. Core JJ coming in to try to save oh, him. The flash follow. Santora stuck around too long. Greed is a deadly sin for Team Liquid. Core JJ flashing back into the pit, trying to get away. Takui's coming up from the other side. Gotta we land get a chain. It. Can we stop him? He's got the they chain. Got him. Core JJ thrown up into the air, and the money goes to Jose Diodo. Oh, that is huge for FlyQuest. They get first blood on a Johnson and the double buffs onto the Twitch here. Philip getting really low, and his wave is quite awkward. He's got to pay respect. If you get hit by another barrel, flash auto Q, and you're dead with the passive. Philip has the base, but his wave is screwed. You're gonna have to be pretty respectful. He has no TP. If he gets dove on this, this is a fat wave pushing in. Oh no. So Philip really needs six here to try to survive. But this is looking like an easy dive. We'll see how far off six he is. I well, get it. He has six. Well, Philip trying to stay alive here. Oh! Oh! Flash Q3! Philip with the outplay to make it a one for one. Still a massive win for Philip there. Something about playing top lane for FlyQuest to split. You're not gonna get that much help. So he needs needs to be able to clutch out in fights like that. Johnson immediately popped by Han Sama. Team Liquid getting a kill here in the bottom lane, but Jose Diodo shows up, and he's ready to go in for the Team Liquid AZ carry. One Woo! more hit with the stick and point and click. On the other side, Teal are able to get this 2v2 kill. Yeah, and this was huge for Han Sama. The XP really well played here. Gets all the autos, kites it out well, lands oh. the in Whippo now. Whippo eating those oranges just in time to avoid some serious, more serious threat of death. As Takui loses his clone here in mid lane, Bjergsen still doing just fine. Gets the claw onto Aphromu there, so gonna get a little bit of extra soul shard power out of that. We still haven't had any single Drake take just yet, despite the fact that this has been a pretty scrappy game early on. The only neutral objective is still that Herald, which is still in the inventory of Jose. Twitch. Bjergsen trying to get out. Johnson Ooh. needs a little bit more. Will that He's poison kill him? him? It's still ticking. 20, 11, 1! Oh, he did! <laughs> Holy <laughs> That Blade of the Ruin King is just making him a menace anywhere oh. he goes. I mean, Core has Alt and Flash, but he might need both. Core JJ trying to stay alive in this one. Johnson's gonna get exhausted. Can't find the kill just yet. Han Sama looking for a little more damage. Santorin coming in from the side, and Johnson is shot down. And LeBlanc can threaten Lulu like crazy in the mid game in terms of trying to establish vision control. So I think FlyQuest should be very happy with their current state in the game. Well, they did manage to at least get value out of that Herald. I was starting to get a little bit concerned because the timer was getting dangerously close to zero. Yeah, then move into the bot side, and they're going to look to try to play for both Dragon and that Terror. And it's so Damage, But it still won't matter. They've got Pryo, they've got control over the bot side River, and now they've got a 2-0 Drake. Yeah, and I mean, it's all about the vision. The observers are just showing us, you know, you look at the vision line, there's not much of anything. And now Johnson heading up towards top side. Bjergsen does have stopwatch, and he has ulti and exhaust, so this won't be an easy kill. Well, Johnson's still going to go for it, Bjergsen. Bjergsen, buying time. There's your stasis. Johnson still got the oh. ulti ready. Contaminate's got him ticking low. Bjergsen will live through this one. The potion and the healing on the ulti oh, was enough. And Johnson just gets... That's a tough one. I mean, exhaust plus stopwatch are so powerful yeah. in, a, in a one fight like that. And the quick TP coming through. You know, they have the answer. They get the... Hard for him to hit. Philip going in after Bjergsen here. Knows that Bjerg does not have that stopwatch have anymore. Stop. There is an ulti for Bjergsen, I do believe, but finally gonna pop that one now. Philip, this is Q2. Come Still on. chasing after him. Come on, somebody's gotta get this kill. <laughs> Philip dashes in. There you go. Philip grabs himself a kill. Chain. Yep. Not a whole ton of damage coming out of oh. the Odo is going in, and Afro moves right beside him. Immediately. Use mid control, and it's still 50 seconds until the dragon spawns. So there's quite a lot of time. Phillips actually on that top side turret. You know, TL have both their soul laners on the bottom tier one, trying to get one talking their... about earlier, talking about some uh, the ways that the swing can work in these fights. He's got Ghost, thanks to Summoner Spellbook. So when they go in, it used both Gangplank and Swain to kill that bottom turret because it gave them control of at least enough of the map, uh, but it, it could very well be a, po uh, a catch like this. I think they just made a liar out of you, my friend. Hot yeah. Sama, yeah, yeah, face-checking yeah. a brush with Philip waiting on him. Johnson 
flashes in damage. trying to chase, but that was not the right choice. Core oh. JJ destroyed as Comes they Afro. catch him instead. Santora now going to be in trouble, has to flash up the wall. Afro move trying to get in with the quickness, but right back out. Bjergsen coming in, seeing if maybe there's some sort of a counter punch to be found, but Takui is also on the flank. Hey. They find Shane's over the wall. Oh. Whippo's going to get brought back, but he flashes away. Takui just in, and he finds Hansama. Whippo won't last, and Bjergsen is draining. See that with the barrel. Is if, yeah, you can see. Not he's placing the barrels over the wall. Oh, oh he failed his chain. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Pin away, pin no. away, pin away. <laughs> Close your eyes, you didn't see Johnson's that. Johnson's ready to try to make a move out of this. Twitch. Johnson unloading. <laughs> Rat attack, tap, fire oh. the gas. Here, I think Team Liquid, they can't push the waves very well. They're just hoping that a Twitch overextends oh, somewhere. Oh, Jose Di Odo already after him. Looking to flash to continue the chase. R2 ready to go. And with yeah. Hans in the dirt through both subs, FlyQuest is loving it. Alternative suggestion. Don't listen to my suggestions <laughs> and just kill Hansam and go for Baron. Yeah. Joshua Chat Leesman is not responsible for the actions that may result from you listening to the opinions of Joshua Chat Leesman. Now we've got FlyQuest going after the Baron. They've got it down to 4K. Team Liquid coming in, trying to stop oh, that's Santorin, crushing. looking at a challenge. Johnson's going to be taken to half HP. Oh, no! Bjergsen with the shutdown, and FlyQuest will crumble. Aphromu tries to find something, but Bjerg's going to make it a double. Come and on, with man. that play, oh. Bjergsen breaks 2,200 kills in the LCS, and they break FlyQuest back. Just like that, FlyQuest have been playing such a good game all game long. Try to do the Baron on top of the GP ulti. Everyone comes in from TL, stacking up for that perfect fight. FlyQuest missing Pillarsome. He flashes away from the Trundle into the Swain ultimate. There's no escaping that. And the wheels just completely fall off. I mean, it went the from a 4,000. <laughs> Went from a 4,000 gold lead to nothing with your opponents having the Baron. And now, can you even actually fight for this, this soul? It is so rough all of a sudden. You know, FlyQuest's work has just been immediately erased. They were in so much control. They thought the pick was going to be the Baron, but if they just wait for the open soul... Oh, look soul, at Johnson, though, like, wrapping around. Good. They're going to go for it. He's on a control word, though. Oh, Johnson's got to get out of there. Hansama goes for him. Ooh. But now FlyQuest, they want to try to turn it around. is going to be taking the in the middle of everybody. Jose Yoda looking to make the plays. Johnson running out of ulti time here. Philip needs to heal up a little bit further. He's going to die to Hans. Johnson's going to pop. FlyQuest have out. Let's go, Liquid. Shears erupt and TL on the march. Team Liquid is just galloping over them now. FlyQuest, they have lost their opportunity at the soul. They have lost their gold lead. They have lost control over the map. Everything just crashing down in these last couple of minutes after one mistake, one call to go for a Baron that they shouldn't have gone for. Team Liquid's punish is massive and the momentum is not slowing. I mean, this is like a, a six, seven K gold swing in what, three minutes. there are the stopwatches as well that could buy that time. Philip could be in trouble and Johnson as well. Santorin's going in for him. Johnson, however, he has his team nearby. He still has to flash away. The Subjugate is burning. Johnson's gonna be saved by the shield, but FlyQuest have to fall back. They don't have their AD carry ready to fight. Team Liquid, they have this Twitch figured out. And they got his flash as well, so it's not even about waiting for the soul. They're just going in for more. Takui, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Hansaba gets the kill. 5v4, Team Liquid. Pearson got him over the wall with a claw, and then the Polymorph there to follow up. He could not get out. Ends up going down here, and now on the push, if they can dive on a Johnson, it's no ult, more. no flash. They can look to end, potentially. No Twitch ulti with a numbers advantage in the first place. Jose Diodo nearly going to be killed. Wimbo just going in. He gets a killing spree. Team Liquid losing for 25 minutes, and then they win in 10. They will take down FlyQuest and get their dub. Back-to-back claws from Bjergsen. Catches the Koi over the wall to set that.